Hi guys, welcome back to Derby Koi. It's the weekend. Um, been a busy weekend for me so far. Not much on the pond. Um, but today I've got a couple of little jobs I need to get sorted. Um, one is I need to sort out my food. Uh, I need to bag them up into my am I? into my tubs. I need to split my food up into my tubs. Uh, keep them watertight and stops any nasties getting in there. Um, so I did store some food some time ago. A little bag I had in my other shed around the back. Thought it was safe and the mice got to it. So I need them in plastic tubs to stop that. So I don't want any of them getting in. So I have to throw that away. Um, yes, I got that to do today. Um, what else? My two fish I put round in the bunker. Um, I'm gonna, gonna move those back into the main pond now. Uh, so I'm gonna put them in a bag, let them float for a while. Because obviously my temperature's up a little bit round there because I have now I'm now able to do um, water tests thanks to my mate Paul. Uh, also to rescue again, my little hero. <laughs> uh, Paul helped me out by sending me some of the um, Columbo uh, cards, colour cards to test against. Um, now, for those who have not used Columbo test kits before, um, compared to my NT Labs one. To be honest, I don't think I'll go Columbo again so far. Um, I like the idea of what they're doing with it, the way the test kit is set out, but um, it gives you a little scoop to, if you do your, which one was it? I think it was the nitrite, I can't remember now. I think it's the nitrite. You put two lots of solution in, then you have to put a little scoop of this powder in. Um, but it's not really the greatest of spoons to put it in with. It's a very it's a tiny little thing. You have to put it in and mix it and shake it where the NT Labs one is just another liquid. You haven't got to worry about quantity, just put the right amount of drops in. Um, yeah, so it does that one. It's either nitrite or nitrite, I can't remember. And you have to do the same, I think, with the phosphate as well. So it's a little bit awkward. And um, luckily I'm fine. But I, I do know people that do have... Uh, health issues and they do have the shakes a little bit for whatever reason um, and if you're trying to put that powder in and you've got a shake it's not going to go in because it's such a small spoon or scoop or whatever they want to call it um, it's going to go absolutely everywhere but with the liquid you can you know got something good to grip on but this tiny little spoon you're trying to to do and you're going to be shaking it it's, I mean I'm okay with it but to be honest, I think I will go back to the NT Labs one, to be absolutely honest. Um, I'm still waiting for the cards from Columba. They still haven't arrived, if they're gonna arrive at all. So I'm, that's why I'm extremely grateful for Paul to sending me these out, the spare ones he had. Um, I, like, I do like the Columba test kits, as in it comes in a nice little plastic case, a hard case. Uh, with the plastic inserts where your test tubes and liquids go where the NT Labs one is just a cardboard case and that if it gets wet or easily damaged that's the only downside of the Columbo or the NT Labs one unfortunately but the test kit is really good I must admit um, yeah I'm not I've only used it a couple of times the Columbo but so far I don't like that a little bit of powder you have to put in um, and in the, t the tube it's in, it doesn't look like you get a lot, to be honest. I don't know how many you're going to get out of it, but you don't get a lot in the uh, nitrite or nitrite one, whichever it is. You don't get a lot of that powder. Uh, but yeah, at least I can test the water now. And my nitrites are now down to zero. Uh, the nitrite is up very slightly, but I'm not bothered, too bothered about that. The, f the fish are no longer flashing or anything like that. There's no more issues. Uh, I also am extremely happy f for now, so thankfully I caught it in time and oh, I didn't lose any, thankfully. I really thought I was going to lose some. Anyway, waffling on, that's one, uh, one job is, um, yeah, fish go in, got me food to do and I got another little job as well to sort out today. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's something else, but we'll uh, figure that when we get to it. So. I think the first job for me is I'm going to float these fish and while they're floating I can sort my food out. So let's get them sorted. Okay, I've got two floating. 
that one there and I've got one there it's my uh, Kitsuri and my Kimatsuba and you can see on the top of that because of the stress he had it was really orange on top he's gone a little bit white but hopefully that's going to come back so I'm going to leave this floating a little bit because there's a few degrees difference between this water and the water in the bon bunker uh, the heater is off around the back Give these half hour or so and I'll get them in the bowl, check them over before they go in and stick them back in. Okay, so I've got my Saki Kari balance there, uh, 15 kilos, which I'm going to put, hopefully they're all going to fit in this. So I thought I'd have some more, but these will do for now. I've got some other tubs which I'm going to put my weed germ in, so I'm going to need to get some weed germ. So I'm going to save those for that, but hopefully I'll fit in all these. Uh, three, seven of these, so it says two kilo tub, but I think you can get more in. Um, and I, if not, I can. You know, I have got another tub I can use just in case, um, which is that black one there. I can use that one. So let me get this in and then, uh, see how we get on. Okay, guys, there's all my uh, sake balance. I've got five round here. I've got some round in the bunker, and as you can see, I'm getting quite low on wheat germ. I've got. Uh, half a tub here and probably less than half a tub in the bunker so I do need to get some more wheat gem which they'll be off a little while so I do like to make uh, in this look I do a, um, a mix a wheat gem and balance mix 50 50 which they're fed all year round well all through the summer and in the winter I wean them off this I put less of this in so it's just on the wheat gem but um, I think I'm going to have enough balance for now, for the, for the summer, for this year, but I do need some more wheat germ, so that's not going to last, so I might go and pick some of that up next week. Right, what I've got to do now, what I want to do, is replace my filters in my three-stage dechlorinator. Now, this is a 20-inch three-stage dechlorinator, there. Um, I didn't change up the start of the year, because it was just a very slow trickling, and the trickling was really low in the winter but with everything that's been happening on the pond and the water going in that has been off for a while because i've been doing major water changes so i don't know what's gone through it so i want to really i want to change that now um who knows what's gone through it with the water board um so that's got to be changed those are still floating i've got my bowl out and sterilized um i do need to measure up the kinmatsuba I want to get that measured up. I don't know if I've got a picture of that one either. I want to take a picture of it for my car control app. But I'll also stick them in there, check them over before they go into the main pond. But first, let's get on to these. Okay guys, so um, I still need to wrap her, but that's the uh, paper sediment one. I've got to replace it with. And look at this. Well, look at the colour of that. And the stuff in there, that is not good. So, I mean, it wasn't that long when I, since I changed them. I mean, it hasn't gone all the way through, if you look in the centre. That's paper there, still, still white. But, that is not good. That's come through, that has come through my pipes. And it's just not good at all, so I'm glad I'm changing them. So, I know it wasn't that long ago, because I did have, I had to read, when it was on here, where am I going? Um, I had a slight leak on one of these, so I had to take, well, I think it was this one actually, I took it off and uh, put some PTF heat out around it just to make sure it stopped it. And it was not that colour. Um, that was probably I don't know, three months ago. I, might, I don't know if I actually recorded this at the time, it's just a little job I did. I maybe forgot to mention. But I know it's that colour brazier seed, because it's wet, but if you leave that out for an hour, that will go a lot lighter. Um, so I'm going to take that out anyway. That one's going to go down there. I'm going to give this a good clean out. And you can see, look, this is the stuff that's coming through the tap. Or come through the tap. And I'm assuming that's what's caused all the issue recently. So let me give this a clean. Okay, guys, the others are out. Um, it's not as bad, but as you can see in there, that's supposed to be a nice light grey. So, yeah, that's some stuff coming through here. And I think this is the third one. And, uh, again, you won't really see in there. I don't see much in there. What that one is like. 
But yeah, um, I'm glad I need to replace, you know what I mean? Look at the comparison. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Bloody water company. The crap they're putting through the pipes. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm so glad I've got this dechlorinator up. So that's why I'm changing it. That is disgusting. That is terrible for a water company. But um, yeah, uh, let me get these sorted. Now, if you remember before, I did find it a much easier if you're doing a three stage of chlorinated to put it this way and other things ain't on so you can stick that on first like that hold it in place and then put the top down and thread it in I find it a lot easier than trying to do it this way trying it upside down and trying to because when you put it in there it does move about and you're trying to line that up and it's difficult for me to show you one hand you're trying to line that up, up with these so you can get it in and don't squash it. So I find it much easier if you can put that on there and you can control it a bit more to put them down. So I'm going to put this back together and get it in. And um, yeah, let's get doing it. Okay, new cartridges are in and I'm just flushing it through. I've got the air out. So I'm just flushing it through. And I would say it's good to flush them through for a while just to get any, any dust of the carbon and stuff out of the, the filters so I'm going to run that through for a little while once that's connected back up in the filter house we'll get these in a bowl okay that's back up and running I'm going to let it dry out because I've had to bleed the, uh, the nipples all here and strip down so I need to check when that's dried I'll make sure I've got this tight enough and I'll wrap these water stains these are from when I had that major leak before it really did stain them when they were leaking but hopefully um, I've done them tight enough and that's up and running now I've got water in the bowl and it's just starting to rain so I need to be quick to get these in I want to get them in, give them a measure up, check them over and get them in the pond so if you don't rain too heavy I will record them in the bowl to show you how they are and so I need a picture of that Akuma, uh, Kinmatsuba so let's get it done, it's getting heavy this rain ok guys this is the Kinmatsuba currently 46 centimeters and as you can see here it's got the white spots which is unfortunately the nitrate caused that I think and the stress so, I'm stressing me too much it's currently 46 centimeters so I'm happy with him checked him over I can't see any other injuries or issues so I'll get it back in the main pond and hopefully you can settle down and uh, that color will come back hopefully Okay, there's the Kiazuri. Again, it's very stressed, very easy. A couple of red marks on him from probably from stressing him. But he's lost some of the sumi again, just a little bit has dropped back through the stress. But he's currently 45 cm. And this drain is starting to get quite heavy now, so uh, apart from that, I'm happy enough for him to go back in the pond. And uh, yeah, so fingers crossed, no more issues. Right. That's that done. Sorry if you see that I'm limping my knee. It's in a bad way. I know I'm going to need a new replacement soon. But I'm holding off as long as I can. <coughs> um, yeah, so I've been really struggling at the moment. Uh, hard to do anything, so let's get out this rain. Put the light on in here, get some light on the massa. There we go. Hopefully you can see me now. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I got them few jobs done today. Uh, Bloody weather, I. <laughs> um, yeah, I couldn't do anything yesterday, and my uh, brother over <coughs> came down to see me yesterday, so I'm busy with that. And uh, yeah, I'm ho I was hoping to have a dryish day, and my knee feel a bit better, so I can actually get onto this um, veg filter because I need to get that done before the winter. I really do need to get it done, along with other jobs I've got. <laughs> Why your list of jobs are getting so so long? Um, yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't rain, so I needed to ask some advice from a few of you. Um, sorry, let's get wet. Let me go back out here. It's not pond related as such, but it's been summer. I've been promising grandma I've been I'd do for a, a long time now <laughs> since I built the pond really. Um, he wants a canopy built um, basically from 
here, wherever I am, the corner there, all the way across to there. So I'm okay at most things. I'm not very good at woodwork, to be honest, that type of stuff. Um, I don't know what's involved, what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. So if there's anybody out there who's good at a carpenter or good at woodwork, the canopy, I measured it, it's about six meters long by about three meters, comes out about three meters, just to, it actually comes out when I'm a, to virtually the end of the pond. Um, edge of the pond so yeah six meters by three meters approximately um, a couple of fiddly bits maybe maybe at a slight angle because where the shed is over here the filter shed here it's more of an angle so if, it's, if I was going straight across it would come sort of here but then there's that obviously that piece to angle it off to the shed um, yeah so don't know what's involved what I need um, what's the best type of timber? Obviously, I want to do it as cheap as possible. <laughs> Obviously, it's uh, um, but yeah, I've been promising now for six more years or more to do a canopy. Um, so yeah, now I think it's the time I need to do that. <laughs> so if anybody out there is good at this stuff and they can help in any way, uh, just some advice. What do we need? I think. I did think about the clearish or the translucent box profile roofing, um, but I want it a bit stronger than that because obviously I've got cutters up there. So if I need to get on top, I'd prefer it a bit stronger. So I think it's going to be something like 10 mil polycarb and the bronze stuff just to cut down on the UV rays and give it a bit of shade so we can sit out in the sun. Um, if it's a really, if we ever have any sun. And we have a really really hot day it'd be nice to cut down some of the sun and have a bit of shade under there and then we can have some barbecues and stuff um because we've got this here which is you can see at the table we bought a uh, ninja wood fire grill thing the barbecue wood fire grill which is absolutely fantastic to be honest really really impressed with it and uh, what it does and the smoke effect so we can have more of that and we haven't got to worry so much about the weather so yeah if anybody can give me any advice as I said, in what size timber I need, um, anything really. Um, obviously, we've got the patio down, so I don't want to be digging down into the patio and cut it. So that's going to be, I think, uh, the metal feet, the plates, and bolt it down would be the better option, I think. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's um, the advice I need at that, or help, or anything, anything you can do to help me out with what I need, how it's done, I haven't got a clue to be honest, uh, yeah I can google it which I probably will um, and as I say I'll get me, hopefully I can get some of my brother to come over and help me because um, I'd struggle on my own doing all that and grandma won't mind me saying he's not very good at wood at all at any of that woodworky stuff and I'm okay, not great, um, I'm okay, I have to, have to really have to take my time and think about it and measure like 17 times just to cut it once because I know if I don't I'll make a mistake um, and I don't want to be making mistakes on that type of thing with wood the expensive materials and that at the moment let's count this round a bit more yeah so as I say any advice or any way of helping in that you can help I'd really appreciate it as I leave a message down below contact me via Facebook Messenger send me an email I'd really appreciate it um, but yeah not much else I can do today um, it is now, let me get my watch to come on, nearly three o'clock, uh, I haven't had anything to eat yet so I'm going to have, some, have something to eat, um, Busy's got to go over the park, um, and have his run around, and this rain is getting heavy, that sky does not look good at the moment, so um, I'll come back to you in the week, catch you in a bit. Hi guys, surprise surprise, it's raining again. <laughs> Um, yeah, so a um, bit more of an update. Um, we're doing water tests. Um, my water is now back to normal. There's just a very, I mean, minute trace of nitrate. Um, but they are looking, as I said before, a lot better. 
and the Columbo test kit cards that Columbo said they would send me finally arrived um, it actually took about two over two weeks Where's that up? Um, it actually took over two weeks so yet again I'll say a massive thank you to Paul my mate Paul coming to the rescue and uh, sending me those cards out but yeah very very disappointed in Colombo and I've had a few people actually um, message as well um, from the last video saying about the cards missing um, that uh, they've had it as well they've had, they've had the cards missing um, some of the agents have been missing um, somebody said they the spoon was missing a little uh, scoopy spoon thing they have and somebody said the powder was missing so it seems to be a common thing with them um, as, as I don't know if I've already said in this video or not there's good things I like about the Colombo test kit I like the case it's in nice hard case and the internal plastic card it's in and it comes with a little syringe even though I've already got my own syringe uh, I do like that um, I don't like the powder you have to put in don't like that at all why that to give you the liquid um, and I don't know if people have said it's not that accurate compared to the NT Labs one so I may be going back to the NT Labs one I think um, which is a shame really because I also had good hope, high hopes for the NT Labs um, but there you go um, yeah as I said fish are looking great very happy so the only other thing I want to mention now is a on the get the date right now the 17th of August which is a Saturday a, the Koi collection is having another open day slash, slash event um, so yeah if you can make it I'd be absolutely fantastic to see you down at the Koi collection on the 17th of August a Saturday um, I haven't got any other details as such yet I will be going down this weekend to see Ken I do need some more wheat germ so I'm going to pick up some wheat germ this weekend obviously I'll see what he's got uh, any new Koi out of quarantine um, I do know he has said hopefully for the well for the 17th he will have he's expecting or if he hasn't had already at least 1500 new koi coming in uh, from Japan of all various shapes sizes and colors so it'll be interesting to see what he's got in and hopefully they'll be out of quarantine for the 17th um, so yeah if you can make it down on the 17th it would be absolutely fantastic to see yeah Hopefully we're going to have better weather than we're having now because what summer? We're not actually having a summer. I can't believe it's the middle. Well, coming on, well, we're in July, not quite the middle yet, but we're getting close to the middle of July. I'm wearing woolly hat, my fleece. I've got the heater on in the bunker, and it's supposed to be summer. This is ridiculous. So um, hopefully we're. <laughs> The weather the year uh, summer will start by then so yeah if you can make it the 17th it'd be great to see you i'm hoping to do some well, hopefully i'll take some bread pudding if you can get a chance to make some and i'll uh, there'll be bread pudding on the day as well as other refreshments as well teas coffees cold drinks uh, hot food this will be available so it'd be great to see you on the 17th um yeah i do hopefully do some recording when i go to ken so that'll be in the next video so don't forget to like share and subscribe pop on over to facebook and instagram give me a like on there and a follow uh, please give me a thumbs up it really does help the youtube algorithm and i really appreciate it check out the links in the description as well to some of the products that i've been using and um, to get them through amazon because people keep asking me about certain products a lot of links will be in the description down below so until the next one as always stay safe jobs are good